Good morning and welcome back to the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning. If you're watching us live on Facebook, we do appreciate that. Please remember that Facebook keeps these videos up on our page. You can check them out at your leisure. If you want to listen or watch later, we upload these to our YouTube page. We also have audio and video versions on our website, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. You can check them out there. Uh, whenever you have a chance. Obviously, we have the audio version, so you can listen to it uh, whenever you please. You don't have to look at me if you don't want to. Uh, Of course, we also have the coronavirus page on our website, which is free, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash coronavirus. So check that out. Of course, we're going to be talking about some of that today, but also some good news today. Uh, after we get through the coronavirus issues. want to remind folks, coronavirus news moving pretty slow lately. We're going to be jumping back into what we like to call the Rona Rewind. It looks like that's going to be, as long as nothing crazy happens over the next few days, it's probably going to start Monday. So we'll get into, we'll maybe have a little bit of def, different setup on Monday for the morning show. We'll let you know on Friday. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. Still killing me. Getting into your traffic today, uh, it's it's looking to get back to normal here. Not quite as bad because there is no school currently happening. However, 194 H Club Road and River Road, heavy delays at that light, uh, heavy delays on the on-ramps. There, are, there aren't necessarily delays on I-12. It's moving. It's just there's a lot of people on I-12 heading into Baton Rouge. So a lot of people heading back to work here in Phase 1. Minor delays on 64 heading into Central. It's currently 70 degrees, 80 degrees is going to be your high today, 68 your overnight low. Looking at some heavy thunderstorms throughout the day, of course, if you've been outside already, you'll you'll notice that doesn't look very surprising. Looking to happen around 11 a.m., might have some more tonight. So please remember, if you haven't haven't had out to work just yet, uh, I was got a little shaken up on that one. If you haven't gone to work yet, uh, or if you haven't made it to work, borrow an umbrella because you're probably going to need it today. Want to get into these mitigation efforts real quick before we flow into the coronavirus statistics. Please remember to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or more. Disinfect common surfaces at home and at the office. Control your cough with your elbow or a tissue. And please uh, please remember that includes sneezing as well. Wear a mask in public if at all possible. Don't touch your face like I just did. Six feet or more uh, of distance between yourself and others in public. Ten or less to a gathering, preferably less. Stay home to work if at all possible and stay home if sick and utilize telehealth to get in touch with your doctor. Getting into these coronavirus statistics, you're currently looking at 35,038 total cases throughout Louisiana. 26,249 have recovered. 279,000 tests. So got roughly about 100,000 to go. Not quite sure if they're going to make that 200,000 mark here uh, in the May, in the month of May. We're going to wait and see. Uh, 1,004 uh, hospitalized, uh, 112 on ventilators with 2,458 deaths. In Livingston Parish, 356 cases, 26 deaths on 4,600 tests. Yesterday, the Louisiana House, uh, members of the Louisiana House of Representatives uh, are asking Governor John Bell Edwards to reconsider the 25% uh, capacity limit. Of course, that was a big part of phase one, uh, was issuing some of these businesses that were going to be able to reopen, uh, getting in touch with the fire marshal, finding out what their capacity is, if they didn't know, and then operating at 25% of that. Uh, According to an Alexandria representative, most of these restaurants could easily get up to 50% uh, while maintaining social distancing. Uh, The 25% limit was a discussion between the governor and the fire marshal and their belief that that would help maintain that 25% capacity rate, which would also maintain social distancing. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this moves going forward. Of course, we had uh, the Louisiana legislature that gave some pushback against the governor uh, with regard to phase one and when phase one was going to occur. Of course, it takes a while to get things through uh, the House and the Senate and up to the governor. Uh, so one of the pushbacks that they had 
uh, was trying to strip his ability uh, to, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, declare an emergency or what he can do in declaring an emergency. It does appear at this point that that particular bill has died because, of course, we moved into phase one before they could move it through the legislature. Well, uh, that is one of the reasons why uh, it'll be interesting to watch this one to see how far it goes. Of course, phase two is going to allow up to 50%. We're hoping for a phase two announcement in early June uh, for about a June 5th uh, entrance into, uh, excuse me, phase two. Part of that is giving the governor time to analyze the data. Of course, the novel coronavirus has a 10 to 14 day incubation period. So you kind of have to give it time, uh, see how these openings go, see if we start getting a spike in cases, see if anything spreads. The governor is very much concerned about having to redo or scale back uh, a lot of these uh, releases, I guess you can say, a lot of these phases. If we do have a spike in cases or deaths, uh, there could that, that could happen. Or if we start getting to a point again where we're going to overwhelm critical hospital infrastructure, could happen again as well. So a lot of different variables going forward, trying to make sure that we uh, practice these mitigation efforts, remember that, uh, but it will be interesting to see how the legislature and the governor interact in the coming days uh, over that 25% uh, capacity uh, limit. There it is, sorry about that. That request comes at record joblessness across the nation. Of course, living, uh, Louisiana is at 34.8% in terms of real-time unemployment, fourth nationwide. Uh, that's draining a lot of trust funds across the state for unemployment. According to the, uh, excuse me, according to uh, the Louisiana Workforce Commission Secretary, Ms. Ava Dejois, there's about $840 million left. Now, this is as of last week. There's about $840 million left in the Workforce Commission's trust fund. That gives them about 16 weeks worth of issuing benefits before they go broke. In 2019, the LWC released 103,000 benefit pay or benefited 103,000 people at $153 million. In 2020, excuse me, uh, 400,000 people have received $1.4 billion in benefits. That's $323 million from the state, and, one point, uh, or, and the rest has come from uh, the federal government for a total of $1.4 billion. So again, $323 million so far, got about, and we're about nine weeks in, maybe 10, you got about 16 weeks left before the uh, Louisiana Unemployment Trust Fund uh, runs out of money. Currently in Livingston Parish, at about 140 to 145,000 recorded population, you're looking at 17,571 unemployed individuals, so a little over 10%. Well, not necessarily. It could be higher than that considering uh, that you're talking about working population, so kids are removed. Uh, a lot of times I like to use the figure of the number of kids in our schools, 28,000, uh, so you're already down to just over 100,000. So uh, again, that number is 17,571 uh, unemployed. Uh, over the weekend, a uh, little girl by the name of Mia Carroll uh, had her pre-K graduation uh, photo shoot at LSU. She attends Amy Christian Academy in Denham Springs. Uh, while they were shooting some pictures uh, next to the tiger, uh, the, the tiger statue out front of Mike the Tiger's uh, enclosure, uh, they heard a yell from a balcony above them and looked up and and. There was Coach Ed Ogeron, head coach of the LSU Tigers, yelling, Go Tigers. He asked them what they were doing. They told him, and he said, Well, I want, I'd like to participate. I'd like to take a photo or two. Kind of made everybody's day. Uh, everyone who was involved described uh, the coach as a very nice man, uh, very pleasant to be around. Uh, he took a couple of photos with her and asked her what she wanted to do. She said she wanted to be an animal doctor and an LSU cheerleader. And so, of course, again, he said, Go Tigers. Uh, so a very, um, you know, very humble situation uh, for Coach Ed Ogeron making the day of Miss Mia Carroll. Uh, you can check out some of the photos from that photo shoot at our website, www.livingstonparishnews.com. Yesterday marked a year since Lane Hardy had won American Idol. Uh, he said he described it as almost blacking out uh, when his name was called as the winner of last year's contest. 
Uh, now he's been through a lot, quite a few things. Uh, he came home, had quite a party when he came home, uh, and has signed a record deal, done some live tours, done some traveling. Uh, and of course, he has been in and out of the parish since then. So you can go read all about his travels. Uh, Mr. David Gray is kind of giving you sort of a story-based timeline of what Mr. Lane Hardy has done since winning American Idol last year in the 2019 contest. You can check that out at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash coronavirus. As mentioned, things are moving kind of slow. We're going to jump back into these mitigation efforts real quick, and then I'm going to let y'all go. Please remember to wash your hands for 20 seconds or more with soap and water. Disinfect common surfaces at home and at your office. Control your cough with your elbow or a tissue. That includes sneezing as well. Wear a mask in public if at all possible. Don't touch your face. Six feet or more of distance between yourself and others. Ten or less to a gathering, preferably less. Stay home if you're sick. Utilize telehealth to get in touch with your doctor and stay home to work if at all possible. Please remember you're looking at heavy delays at 190 4-H Club Road and River Road. Heavy delays on the on-ramps, getting onto I-12. I-12 is slow but moving, getting back to sort of that normal schedule. People trying to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, get to work in Baton Rouge in the morning. Minor delays on 64 heading into Central. It's currently 70 degrees, 80 degrees is your high, 68 degrees your overnight low. You're looking at some heavy thunderstorms, some rain starting at 11 a.m. Going to have some rain in the middle of the day as well as some rain in the evening. Please remember, if you haven't left for work yet, bring an umbrella or a poncho. One last time with these coronavirus statistics, 35,038 cases, 26,249 have recovered on 279,000 tests. 1,004 hospitalized on 112 ventilators, 2,458 deaths. In Livingston Parish, 356 cases, 26 deaths on 4,600 tests. One last time, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning for the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. Please remember we're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. We are once a week in print on Thursdays. That's $7 a month to get that in your mailbox. We are also online, as we've mentioned before. We have an app to go with our website as well. Do hope you have a great day. Please stay safe, especially with the thunderstorms. Try to stay dry, and we will check you out tomorrow morning.